So over here, you can see that I have a database and on the enrollment date, I can go around, click here and then select a future date right here or select a past date right here and nothing happens. That is because there is no val validation rule applied right here. But let's say what I want here to happen is that I do not want a date uh, to be entered, which is beyond today's date right here. So I want to, um, uh, I should be able to enter out the past dates, but no dates later than today. At the time of the recording, the date today is November 13. So I'm just going to go around and make sure that the date is not uh, cannot be entered later than November 13. And as the date progresses, I want that to update on its own. So to do that, first of all, you need to go around over here onto your table and then go to design view. So once you do that over here in enrollment date, you can see the date and time right here. So once you click around over here, you can see that there is the validation rule right here. So let me just click here and click on the three dot icon to bring up the expression builder. So now what I want here to happen is that I want the date to be less than or equal to today's date. And to enter today's date, I have to type in date right here and open and close the bracket. So this is how it works. So uh, the validation applied right here is less than or equal to today's date right here. So let me just press OK and you can see that it pops up. So here I'm going to say, please enter uh, uh, today's date or um, older dates right here. So I'm just going to go around and write that on the validation text. So once I do that, I'm going to go around, right click over here and I'm going to go to the data seed view and save this out right here. So once I save this on the enrollment date, if I were to select out past dates right here, remember today's date is November 13 at the time of the recording. So if I were to uh, select seven, it accepts the data. 13, it accepts the data, but if I were to select out 25, it says, please enter today's date or older dates, as you can see. So you have to go around and reselect out the dates right here. So you cannot select out any future dates right here. Click outside and it says, please enter today's date or older dates. So it doesn't allow you to click out unless you enter out past or current date. And that is how you can uh, validate out current dates inside of MS Access Database. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.